The Black Friday madness is now over. Now of course we still have Cyber Monday, but Black Friday is undoubtedly one of the biggest sale days of the year. Not only is it huge discounts, but it's also in the run-up to Christmas, and some of you might be wondering, well, in terms of consoles, who sold better? Well, according to one marketing study done by InfoScouts, the winner was actually PlayStation by a rather comfortable margin in the two age groups buying the most video games. Now, InfoScout tracks purchases made by a network of 300,000 users over three mobile apps, and they say that Sony saw a large gain among the millennial audience, which is most likely you and me, 18 to 35, and a modest pickup among middle aged consumers, 36 to 55. And that is compared to those demographics purchasing decisions on an average day as compared to Black Friday with its huge amount of discounts, bundles and etc. Now if you look on the screen right about now you'll see InfoScout's breakdown of millennials on an average day compared to Black Friday and the statistics for each platform. What's interesting though is that last year the same firm actually scored Xbox the winner in total percentage of consoles sold on Black Friday. However this year among millennials, Info, InfoScout rather, says that the PlayStation took 7% of the market directly from Xbox. Microsoft consoles normally accounted for 39% of buyers on regular days, but only 32% on Black Friday. That's compared to PlayStation, which stood at 40% on ordinary shopping days, but 48% on Black Friday. Now, interestingly, among middle-aged consumers, we did see a slight increase for Xbox, 37% on Black Friday, up from 35 However, so did PlayStation, to 33% from 30%, and both of these increased at the expense of Nintendo, which actually saw a small decline, which declined from 34% to 30 However, Nintendo did hold its position with Millennials, more or less, at 19% of Black Friday buys compared to about 20%, and despite this flat trend, InfoScout is saying that they are suggesting the platform has a greater nostalgic appeal to 90s kids than it does to Gen Xers, even though millennials are regarded by marketers as pickier consumers who place less emphasis on brand loyalty. Now, they are saying that the study was based on analysis of more than 250,000 receipts captured by InfoScout on both Thanksgiving night and Black Friday. In other analyses, InfoScout also took a look at the top selling items at major retailers across the US, and this is a rather surprising result as Wrangler came in at number one in Walmart in terms of units sold, so they have some pretty interesting breakdowns not just when it comes to gaming, but also when it comes to other brands who bought what and so on. And I will link their full report in the description below this video. There's quite a bit of information there, of course. I'm not really going to focus on the other brands. I just kind of wanted to mention that they are discussing other brands as well. Now, what is important to remember is that we're talking about PlayStation and Xbox as a general brand. We're not talking about the PS4 and the Xbox One. We're talking about PS3s, PS4s, Xbox 360s. Xbox Ones and of course for Sony, PS Vita and obviously for Nintendo we're talking about Wii U, Wii, 3DS, 3DS XL etc. But regardless, slight tip for tap between PS4, uh, sorry PlayStation and Xbox but the main loser here was Nintendo. Xbox is doing slightly worse but not a huge amount whereas Nintendo kind of lost for the benefit of those two if you get my meaning. So, I suggest you take a look at the two links from InfoScout in the description below this video, the source for these claims regarding Millennials, etc, and of course the brands which won at Walmart, which I briefly mentioned as well. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.